Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you one of the last steps in terms of uh, building your funnel and that is taking payment. So, you know, we do all this and at the end of the day, we do want to get paid because we want to monetize uh, our information, our knowledge and our products. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take payment. Okay. And this is the page that you send people to, to collect payment. So to get started, what we need to do is to create um, a form that actually takes payment. So think of it this way. Uh, what we need to do is to set up the F post machine, right? So in order for your shop, so your shop is this page. So let's take a look at this. So this is a template that I've chosen that looks very simple. You know, it's just what are you going to get on the left? And then on the right, you're going to make payment. This is a page that you send people to take payment. Now, so imagine this page is your shop where you're going to take payment. Now in your shop, you're going to need your FPOS machine, right? So your FPOS machine is this form here. But in order to start taking payment, you need to first set up your FPOS machine. So your FPOS machine is set up in GrooveSell. So I'm going to go into GrooveSell. So to get to GrooveSell, you would then press onto the button here and you can see your your list Groove pages, Groove Cell, and so on. So click on Groove Cell because this is where we're going to set up our own FPOS machine. And once you're in Groove Cell dashboard, click on to product funnels. Okay. Now in product funnels, you can see that I've got a few products already. So what I'm going to do is going to create one from scratch with you. So what we're going to do is to create a new product funnel on the top right. And we're going to call it um, FPOS. Okay. Davina and FPOS Davina. So for those of you watching that may not know what I mean by FPOS in Australia, FPOS machine is basically the machine that you tap with your credit card or you pay with your credit card. That's what we call it as a credit card machines. You know, that's what we call it. So as you can see here, it's very exciting. You could take other forms of payment. Uh, there's quite a lot to choose from, but I'm going to choose Australian dollars because I'm in Australia. And I'd also want to show you that you could take another form other than USD and it actually works. So I'm going to choose AUD. Now a note here, please, if you're going to take anything away, this is one of the important ones is that if you're using PayPal or Stripe, just make sure that that particular payment form, whether it's Stripe, whether it's PayPal, will take one of these payments. Now, I'm using Stripe and I know Stripe takes AUD. I also found out that Stripe actually doesn't work in Singapore. I don't know why, but basically, if you try and set up Stripe in Groove, and you chose Singapore dollars and you use Stripe, it is not going to work for you. I've tried it, it doesn't work. You can give it a go, um, it didn't work for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use AUD so that it works, create the product funnel, okay? And you can see this yellow button here, we're going to configure it, okay? And you could see that is called FPOS Davina. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to go FPOS Davina. Again, you can go back and change those names later. Um, I'm not going to do an upsell or a downsell. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to go a front end product, save it next. You could add different price point. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to do one price point. So it's just FPOS Davina. Uh, one time payment. I'm not going to worry about installments. The price is $1 so that I could test it later on. And so for you as well, I would recommend you doing $1 so you could actually test it in real life. Save and next. Now this one, payment gateway, is another common mistake that most people make, including myself, is you need to do three things in here. So you could have the option of doing a PayPal payment or credit card payment. Now because I'm using Stripe, um, I'm, it's a credit card. So what I do is I click on credit card and you could see here there's nothing being linked. So what I need to do is to go to setup gateway up here and to set up a new payment gateway. Now I already set one up as you can see here, I've got Stripe already, but you will have nothing. So for you to set up Stripe, open a Stripe account, it's free. I believe is 1.75% um, plus another small fee. Uh, and I believe it's even more competitive um, and more affordable than PayPal. So if you can use Stripe, try and use Stripe. Um, what you do is then um, you can see here, you could choose uh, the different payment method. Uh, if you choose Stripe, this is what's gonna come up. The name, 
publishable key secret key is going to come up. Now, we're going to go into your Stripe account to grab this information. Now, the name, you could name it anything. As you can see here, I've called it Stripe Davina. So that is the name you want to put it. So you could do Stripe test. Okay. Now, publishable key and secret key. Another tip. When you go into your Stripe account, you're going to have uh, an opportunity to get a test key. So I'm going to show you now. Let's go into your Stripe account. All right, so we are in our Stripe account dashboard and you could see that straight away you can see get your test API key. Now, this was my mistake. I went in, got really excited and grabbed my test key, right? I got a copy and paste and I put it into GrooveCell. Now, the problem is that key is really there for you to test uh, credit card payments, okay? So... I'm going to use this key for you to demonstrate that the thing works. But once you have used your test key, make sure that you go back and grab your real key. What happened to me was I used the test key, tested it out, it worked, and I forgot to go grab the actual key, which is the real key. Because when I left it at the test key and then used a real credit card to pay, it didn't work. So once you've used your test key, go make sure you go back to developers and grab your actual API key right here so that your real credit card will actually work. So I will actually do two tests. The first test is with the test key. The second test is to use it with a real credit card, okay? So this time I'm gonna use a test key, okay? <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna use a test key. You can use a test key because I already set mine up. So once you get your test key, or you could go straight into using your real key. If I was you, I mean, it's a dollar, right, to test. If it doesn't work, you're not going to get charged. If it works, great. So to be honest, I would just go grab the real keys, okay? So uh, these are live Stripe accounts and with the real keys, okay? I recommend you do the same. Um, so make sure you do that. So then what you do is you go back into your payment gateway, go to your credit card. Now, this is another thing you need to do is something I didn't do is that once I set up the gateway right here, I thought, great, that's fine. I went next. No, you need to go into credit card. You are going to add what you've just set up. So you can see here. So I'm going to add Stripe Divina 2. And once you've done that, you need to put a figure here, 100% or 50%. So you can see here, I can show you, maybe I could have two different Stripe accounts and I could go 50-50 on two Stripe accounts, right? So, um, some people might want to diversify their risk and not have everything being collected in one Stripe account and they could do that or they could have 50% in PayPal and 50% in Stripe. So for me, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to put 100%. Now make sure you put this here. If you don't put this um, 100% or every or adding up to 100%, this is not going to work, okay? So recapping, very important. Three things you need to do in the payment gateway, okay? Uh, number one is to set up your payment gateway, okay? Now, when you set up your payment gateway, make sure that you are taking your live API key, not your test API key. If I were you, just go and grab your live API key, and when you're testing it, just spend a dollar, okay? Number two, make sure that you're adding your Stripe account into this, under this credit card. That's number two. Number three, make sure that you put the number of percentage you're going to do to take credit cards, okay? So once you've done that, you go save and next. Then under here, you need to put your sales URL page. If you don't put a sales URL page, it's not going to work because this FPOS machine or this payment that you're setting up needs to know where you are using it. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to go onto this arrow, grab this uh, link. Now, I haven't got a domain link to this sales page. I'm actually using Groove's subdomain, and that's why I'm using this. But yours might be down here, okay? So whichever live domain and that this page is on, you need to grab that. So paste, all right? Then you got a thank you page. I'm going to grab my thank you page. Go to pages. So you got to set up your thank you page. See, I haven't even finished building my thank you page. I am using the template, so you can do the same thing. Copy, copy link address, put your thank you page, okay. I like to sometimes go backspace and retype uh, so that it works. 
refund period, I might go 14 days, support info, don't worry about this, save the next. So you can see here something is not right. Your sell, my sales page didn't get saved properly, so I go back to there, copy, link address, paste, okay, save the next. Uh, see, this is what I mean by backspace and X. Okay, so I'm going to go a pink sidebar. Uh, you can choose your own color. I'm going to go pink, then go form field, um, untick company, untick phone. I just want the bare minimum for them to make payment. Um, in Australia, we need to make sure that your billing address is the same as your credit card. So that's why I put address and city postcode in there. Express checkout, I'm not going to worry. Cut abandonment, not going to worry. Not going to worry. I'm not going to worry any about uh, this. Save and next. Uh, order bumps, I'm not going to do any order bumps. Save and next. Um, where are you going to send people to after they've paid? To my thank you page, of course. Or do you have an upsell page? I'm going to put, go thank you page. Save and next. All right. Now, if you have a membership site, you can actually link your membership site to this payment page so that after they paid, they could be linked to have access to the membership site. Now, as you can see here, I don't have a membership site, so I'm going to skip this step. No, no integration and no webhook. So save and next. I have no affiliate for my program. Save and next. And I've got no proof widget. Save and next. And we are finished. So we don't grab this link. We're finished. Save and exit. That's all you need to do. Okay. Now, what we then need to do, as you can see here, to make this product live, and this is grayed out. So what we need to do is to go back into your product funnels on the left. Okay. As you can see here, F Postavino is still down here. It's in draft. Go to action. We're going to make live. I want to call it F Post. Make funnel live. Okay. It's now live. You can see. Now you can see it's zero dollars. That means you haven't made any sales. Okay. But this product is still one dollar. So what you do is you go to action. You are going to manage product. Okay. And you can see this icon cart is now pink. You can click on it now. So we're going to click on it. We're going to go single price checkout. So I don't have, um, different price points. So I'm not going to worry about it. Now, if you have different price point, for example, you have like, um, uh, different products, for example, whether it's like a, a three months coaching or six months coaching or one year coaching, you have different price point, then you could go a multi price checkout and let people choose it. But to keep it simple in this video, we're going to go single price checkout. If you want to play around with multi price, you can come back once you have mastered this foundation. One step, go next. We're going to go embed into your own page. So as you can see, it's AUD $1. I'm going to copy, making sure I copy everything the code, then we're going to go back to your group funnel. Okay, we're here, Let me move this away. And I'm going to delete this old form so that I can start again and show you. So as you can see here is an empty container, we're going to go to elements, we're going to scroll down. Oops. We're going to scroll down into e commerce, we're going to drag the checkout embed into this empty form. Oh, okay, you can see here, I didn't drag it properly. Undo at the top and drag it in. Okay, you can see it is where I want it to be. I'm going to click on the form. I'm going to go configure. I'm going to go drop down, use embed code, update. Right, you can see here is embed your code here. You're going to go at this settings button right here. They call it the cog. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste that code that we paste earlier. We're going to save. Yay. And you can see that it is thinking is embedding my code right now. And what is while it's doing that, let's save this down. Okay, it's saving. And you can see that it's actually working, right? Okay. Now we are now going to have a look at it. So once it's saved, let's publish so that it's live. Okay. 
I'm going to click on this link here and it's going to take us there. This is the live page. Okay, so you can see here that the page is now here and it's not the breast um, format. So what we can do is you can go back into here, click on this. We can uh, play with the size down here. We can go to PX, we could drag it out a little bit. Okay, let's just save. Okay, let's just see what it looks like. All right, go back into here and press refresh. So still not looking the way I want it to look. Let's just uh, try again. Make it a bit wider. All right, save and publish. All right. Looking much better now. Okay, so I wanted to show you that just in case you're probably freaking out thinking, why is it so ugly? You can go back in and that's where you can go to actually play around with the size. And you can have a look here. It's looking quite nice right here. And you can also test it out to look at it on a mobile version. Still looks okay. Still looks okay. And you can just play around with this, okay? So this is what it looks like. So like I said, um, you can test it out um, you can, uh, by putting your credit card number in there um, oops. Um, and then complete a purchase, okay? Um, what you can also do is to change the name. So remember how it says, it now says F Postavena. You can go back and change it and find the field where you can actually change the name and call it your yeah, coaching program um, name. And that's it. And it should work. Um, you have any other questions, let me know. See you later. Hope you enjoy this. Bye.